to show you little bits and pieces of my warm up routine now um, and then you know it will give you an idea of what kind of warm up you might like to do as well you can copy my warm up if you want um, it has helped me develop but come up with your own warm up that you're happy with you know put in some awesome cruisy music enjoy some of your best tunes play it in the background on Spotify while you do while you do your warm up do it for 20 minutes, half an hour before you play, improve your gameplay, and then actually jump in the game, you know, um, jump in some casual modes and all that sort of stuff. It'll be really good for you, I can guarantee it. So I'm going to go through my warm up. Perfect. Perfect. Now, to start off with, now this is PC only, this is Workshop, all right? So I go into Workshop and then I'll go into the Dribble Overhaul, okay? Or Dribble 2 Challenge or the Dribble 2 Overhaul, which has been updated. So, um, so I'm just going to, I just do casuals and it just gives you basic fundamentals of dribbling, trying to control your dribble um, and basically just carry the ball to the end goal and all that sort of stuff. So um, it's it's a really handy tool now because I'm not great at dribbling, getting used to dribbling without your ball cam on and all that sort of stuff. But it's, it's a really handy little um, sort of map to sort of, you know, basically get your head around dribbling and improve on your dribbling all around. So I'm just going to go through the first few because mainly I suck at that and I don't want to expose my suckiness on dribbling. So, but look, honestly, I, if you're on PC, I recommend, and you're just starting the game, I recommend downloading some of these workshop roadmaps and Dribble Challenge 2 or Dribble Challenge 2 Overhaul is definitely a good one. So, um, and a lot of a lot of pros play this. They use this for warm-up as well. And Jesus Christ, can't dribble for shit on this and they get harder and harder as you can see um and damn it it's good to it's good to feel when you get to the next level because then you know you're improving and even these tricky ones that i'm as you see i'm stuck on now when i first started doing this i was stuck on this river no but i'm spending less time on this map as well i mean this is only oh, my fifth or sixth attempt or something i've usually I've, it was like 50 attempts and then 40 attempts and then 30 attempts so on and so forth so it's really good feeling when you know that you can consistently handle the map um, every time you jump on it and you know you're proving it, you go further as well so of course i'm not doing too great because i'm trying to talk at the same time so yeah the dribble challenge to overhaul you guys got the idea i'm not going to do too much more yeah, I'm, I'm stubborn now i want to get past this map while i'm showing you um and then of course uh as you can see that ah come on come on jesus christ you can't really do this in real time no it just helps you sort of improve. oh look there's a there's a there's a catfish uh, i never noticed that before anyway um oh god <sighs> I'm going to try one more, and then I'll throw my controller out the window. Nope. One more. Nope. One more. Nope. Fuck you. Perfect. Perfect. Basically, it's aerial training. So it doesn't matter which one you do, but the popular one is the rings, because it's a bit more challenging, it's a bit more... Um, you know, it makes you be a little bit more accurate. There's less room for error. So, and that was a good start. So, right. plus I really like this map. Whoever did this, I can't remember his name. Can't even go top of my head. Um, but uh, it's honestly really all. What I'll do is I'll leave links in the description um, of these uh, roadmaps as well. So if you're on PC and you want to improve your gameplay, um, I'd recommend these these two maps I'm showing you. So the rings and uh, overhaul as well. So I'll do a little bit of a flip, make my way back down. You can change your camera to direct the ball, which is really cool. The other ring maps, oh my god, other ring maps, you know, they're really weird with the camera. Oh my god. Oh, I started again. Didn't mean to. Oh, hello chairs. Whoops. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, that aerial, which is the whole point of this, is that you want to directly control your car, you know, in the air and all that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, so rolling your car around, try and get used to how your car moves in the air when you use your air roll and all that sort of stuff, very important. Um, so I think I aim my car down too much. No, I'm not. So I find it tricky. I'm still getting used to it. Um, you know, just how, how the car controls in the air. You know, it's, it is. It does get quite tricky uh, sometimes. But again, that's the whole point of practice: is that you spend time in this, you get better with air rolling and stuff. You know, no point freestyling. Um, it's just a matter of just understanding how your control, your your control, your car controls in the air. You know, and the actual benefit of rolling in the air to make your car adjust direction in the air quickest, and hence when you get used to air rolling in the air and you get full control of your car that's how quick you can move in the air and it becomes crucial and beneficial and oh my god this is not how you do it nope 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 shit. Perfect. Perfect. 
what I'm going to do is, once I've done those two, now I'm going to go through some of um, uh, my custom trainings that I like to do. So I've got a few of my favorites. So one of my um, more favorite things I like to do is, again, um, this is great for, while well, you suck at shadow defense, this is great for when you want to do some ones training. Um, so I'll use this one here. Um, you know a lot as well so right now I have backers mod in place I see my landing there right there I have backers mod in place so basically what backers mod does it actually randomly starts um, it randomly starts from any one and it can change angles and tempos and all that sort of stuff anytime so believe it or not um, this isn't actually number 2 of 20 this is actually more like number 10 or 12 or something like that um, from this actual um, from this actual custom made um, training thing because backers mod randomly chooses which one it is and sets it in a pace so it makes you keep guessing because people get used to um, people get used to uh, people see how it's different now see how it's done from the other side um, ah come on um, I'll piss off oh, fuck off um, oh what bloody backers mod yeah righto okay smart ass I'll oh, piss off Oh my god. Yeah. That's not ideal. So when you save shadow saves, you got to knock them into the corner. If you let them fall in front of the goal, you're buggered. So see, into the corner, off the wall, just like that. So of course, the other thing I like to do is jump into the IP Joker's water air dribble. It's a great one as well. Um, now, of course, here I try and practice my air dribbles consistently along with my double touches and that, and try and get them oop, try and get them down pat as well, which is a, a great little thing that I try and do. And uh, yes, it's, uh, you know, just try and get it consistent is is the main thing. Just try and get that, uh, try and get that double bloody touch nope try and get the double touch and you can reset whoop try and, and you can reset it like every single and I screwed that up um, and you can Jesus Christ you can reset it every single time which is a really cool thing just again just try and dribble in the air and um, main, I do this mainly just to try and get a double touch off the backboard which is a, a very important little feature which I've just screwed up um, you know so trying to work on your double touches is definitely a really good and crucial mechanic damn it it's not working. All right now, no. So as you can see, just it all it all practice and getting it consistently, and I just screwed up my card then. But uh, you get the idea of it. So again, hence why I jump and practice and just try and improve. And not quite. There we go. That will do. And of course, with the same map, you can even practice ceiling shots, which is really cool as well. Um, so which I've just bucket up. So you can practice ceiling shots, which. You know, again, um, just like so. Uh, you can practice the fast ceiling shots. So you jump first off the ceiling, and then you know try and hit it all into the goal, which I didn't quite, uh, which I didn't quite exact. Whoops, which I didn't quite do. Um, so into the ball, nope. Up you go onto the ceiling. In your in, in your in, in your in, in your in, into the ceiling. Yep, too much. Put me car. Yeah, missed it. But you got the idea. So practice. You can just practice ceiling shots with the same, with the same map as well. So you know, which is a really cool little feature. Um, you know, a lot of people come on this one. They practice their flip resets as well. So um, now I'm not quite there with my flip resets just yet. So um, you know, I'm still far away from my flip resets. I mean, I'll try and do one now. It won't it won't bloody work? Um, but because uh, I, I suck at my flip resets. So, I mean, I'll try and, yeah, see, I can't, I didn't quite get there in time, because I'm an idiot. So, four, no, I didn't line up my car enough. So, I'm still practicing that myself, so, no, nah, didn't have my car around the right way. So, and I was nowhere near it. No, nah, did it again. So, as you can see, I know how to stall, um, and I know how to stall consistently, um, but it's just a matter of getting my car in the right spot. So, getting a timing right and all that sort of stuff. But you get a lot of people that, you know, practice their flip resets and all that sort of stuff. Perfect. So now I go into free play myself and then I start just running around the map just doing crazy stuff. So working on my fast kick off, double jump into the ball and then I try and predict where the ball is going and stuff like that. And then the, as you can see my recovery as well, very, very important. Um, 
you know, the ball chase the ball around, uh, ball chasing's a skill. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's annoying for some people, but it's it's not a bad thing, guys. When people call you a ball chaser, it's because they're just not seeing enough of the ball, you know, and they want to have a shot. So rotation is important. Team play and passing is important, but ball chasing is a skill. It's a very crucial skill. I'd rather be with a ball chaser than a hesitator, that's for sure. So nothing worse. And you see, you sit here, I'm, I'm sitting here, practicing my half flips, and you see every now and then I bugger it up because I'm, you know, I, it's consistency is one thing. I mean, you still see pros, they flip on their double jumps, they bugger up their half aerials. They don't do it very often, but it still happens. So um, I'll run around the map a bit and practice my wave dashes um, off the wall and that. I'll come back the other way and I'll practice my wave dash off the wall, all that sort of stuff, come back around the other way, practice the wave dash off the wall, so on and so forth. Really cool little thing I practice. Again, practice going to the goals, coming back out and keeping my momentum back to the other side. And I've buggered that up because I've changed camera angles because I'm an idiot. Again, come up, come back out, bang, keep momentum, um, things like that. And if, the other thing is, like I said, recovery. So if you do end up landing sort of like in a really sort of awkward situation, just try and, and keep your momentum going is the main thing. Practice, you know, recovering from the goals quicker, so on and so forth, as I've mentioned before. Um, again, doing it this way, again, keeping your momentum going, as you can see. Uh, my car didn't slow down at all. Uh, chasing the ball around, which is a cool thing. So trying to predict where it's going off the wall, trying to hit the, hit into the ball twice. That's so a double touches off the wall every time you hit it into the wall. So you know, just like that. So catching the ball is another one. Um, you know, dribbling. I'm trying to practice. Um, you know, controlling in a power slide dribble. That's why I don't. So you can see there, I don't do too many flicks just yet. Um, I mean, I do flick, but I, I, I only do, you know, little bits and pieces, so, um, you know, little little things like that, so um, I'll get the ball on and I'll flick, I'll flick it, I'll give it a flick, you know, all that sort of stuff, so, um, you know, hitting the ball with the underside of your car, um, you know, uh, another important one, which I'll get to in a minute, just, yeah, just general ball chasing, just, just chase the ball around, just follow the ball, try and go from dribbles to aerials, all that sort of stuff, you know, a bit of a flick there, but that went the wrong way. Um, things like that, you know, see how I'm able to try and turn around and then hit it with the other side of my car, you know, little things like that to keep your opponents guessing. Perfect. Right, now I have Backers Mod back on and I'll show you why, because there are some really cool things that Backers Mod does in free play, that, and again, this is only on PC, you can only get Backers Mod on PC, so sorry console players, but see how with a touch of a D-pad I can make the ball roll towards me, and I can do things like, you know, aerials and all that sort of stuff, so I reset, I make the ball roll towards me, and then I can work on, you know, ground aerials and that, so, um, you know, little, little things like that, and... I'm working on, you know, these to try and get them more consistent, you know, things like that. Um, you can make the ball, you can do redirects, you can uh, make the ball work defensively and all that sort of stuff. Press up, the ball will be on you to dribble and all that sort of stuff. So to help you work with your flicks if you have trouble getting the ball on you. But honestly, don't worry about doing that because you need to get used to putting the ball on your car like so. So, you know, get the car to roll towards you, get used to having the ball put onto your car and then work on a flick so on and so forth so um, like one of my favorite ones I'm trying to work on is having the ball in my car double jumping into the ball well or doing that not I'm trying to work on having the ball roll into my car I catch the ball and then you know I double jump with it on on me and then I air dribble my way to the goal so you know little things like that I'm trying to work on as well power slide um, I like going up the wall and doing some backboard defense so you can see the ball's coming, and then I'll do some backboard defense. Um, I'm a very, very highly de defensive player. Um, I'm better at defending than I am at shooting. I always will agree with that. I'm slowly getting better at shooting, but um, I'm just one of those people that I'm just, I'm just a natural defense. I'm like the G2. I'm like the Rizzo of G2, um, and all that sort of stuff. Just naturally a natural defender. Um, I don't really do too much fancy stuff or anything like that. I just like to defend. I like to rotate back. I'm, I'm always, every time I play com competitively, um, I'm always the first one back to the goals. I'm always the fastest back to the goals So um, when need to. So <clears throat> little things like this, especially in threes. And I missed that. With backers mod, you can work on redirects. Sorry, that's not the one. Uh, which one is this one? So pressing down on the D-pad is redirects. The ball will go in a direction that you're generally going, and you're sort of trying to hit it into the ball, hit the ball into the goal. So your mate's sort of coming this way, and I just bugger that one up. Yes, but you got the idea. So redirects with uh, with backers mod is a pretty cool thing as well. So 
um, you know, it's it's getting used to that kind of stuff is pretty crucial, pretty important. So except for that, hitting with the underside of the car, very important as well, or rolling into the ball just as you go to hit it, um, which was not that. Um, so so you just get that little bit more power as you do it. So um, you know, little, little little things, guys, and then again working with your dribbling here getting that flick getting into the goal which I did score yeah um, you know just those, just those little little things guys and I like to work on power sliding with the ball around I'm, I'm slowly working on that because um, I like to juke my opponents when that works nothing better um, you know little things like that. so that's that's pretty much my warm-up that I like to work on in game uh, I'll work on my pinches while I'm here as well which that didn't actually work but you know you've got the idea as that will go up onto the wall I'll try and get a little bit of a pinch yeah so just a little one so this is like basic mechanical stuff that you can work on at lower levels, bronze to gold. Um, I'd highly recommend getting these little things in your little arsenal. As you can see, my little recovery didn't quite work out, but I managed to sort of recover back instead of just sitting there um, like a, you know, like a sitting duck, as what we will say. Um, yes, and just those little things, guys. Look, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did like the tutorial and you want to see more broken down basic stuff, I'll be more than happy to help out. So there's my little stall I'm trying to work on. Yeah, it didn't quite work out. Well. I'll try again. Here's my little stall. Pop, pop. There's my stall. Um, but you know, you know what I might do is I might leave this with a bit of a ceiling shot that I'll fail miserably. Yep. You know, I'll try that again. So what I might do is I might leave these guys with a bit of a ceiling shot just for something fun to watch. I don't know why you would care about a ceiling shot, but that completely fucked up. Anyway, so um, I'll try that one more time. I'll leave these guys with a bit of a ceiling shot just for a bit of shits and giggles because I suck at ceiling shots and I still fucked that one up as well. I don't know why I'm even trying these, but uh, maybe with fourth time lucky, I might get a little bit of a ceiling shot. And this is looking a little bit better. Nope, I still fucked it up. So I think I'm hitting the ball too hard uh, into the goals or into the direction that I don't want it to go. This might be a little bit better. Yeah, and then, yeah, will that do? Oh, I missed it, but fuck it. Let's, look, that just went in. All right, let's just say that went in. Just don't tell anyone. Don't tell your mum. Don't tell your dad. But that went in, okay? So, um, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you all in the next Nasty Gameplays video. Bye.